Is folic acid linked to autism? You're hearing it in the news, you're reading it in the research, you're hearing it from your doctor, you're hearing it from your friends and neighbors and social media. Is folic acid linked to autism? I say yes. What is the research saying? The research is saying too low amounts of folic acid are ca caused to autism and linked to it. And then you hear recently, another paper comes out and says too high levels of folic acid are linked to autism. So you got too low and you've got too high both linked to autism. So now you're thinking, where's the happy medium? What do I do? Well, the solution is you don't take folic acid, period. Folic acid is harmful, it's synthetic, and it does bad things to your body's biochemistry, and it interferes with the body's natural forms of folate, which is what your baby needs, and it's what you need. But the news says, and your doctor says, continue taking folic acid. But why would you continue taking folic acid when the research says too little is bad and too much is bad? How is there a happy medium? There isn't. The happy medium for folic acid is stay in the shelf or put it in the garbage can. The solution is to eat more leafy greens, eat more salads, and eat supplements and use supplements that contain natural forms of folate, such as, listen carefully, methylfolate and folinic acid. You want to find supplements that contain methylfolate and folinic acid, not folic acid. Folic acid is, should not be used. The research is proving over and over again, and there needs to be more research done. I agree with that. But the solution for now is to use the natural forms of folate and eat folate-containing foods, which are leafy greens and vegetables, okay? And you can cook your leafy greens and vegetables and get natural forms of folate from there. So is folic acid linked to autism? Yes, it is. Should you use folic acid still, despite what the media is saying? No, you should not use folic acid. I vehemently, absolutely disagree. Have I been studying folate biochemistry for years? Yes. Do I lecture around the world on folate metabolism and methylation and pregnancy problems? Yes. Do not take folic acid, mark my words. If you want to learn more about the dangers of folic acid and why you should not be taking it and the research behind it, watch the video link below and you will learn more. And please share that with your doctor and everyone else along with this video. Again, is folic acid linked to autism? Yes, don't take it. Use natural forms of folate. Methylfolate and folinic acid are available in supplements and you can get natural forms of folate produced by nature in your leafy greens. Thank you. Thanks for watching that video. Now, we're making videos all the time. I'm researching constantly. And in order to help you get where you need to be, it's best to be automatically notified, right? Well, you can do that by clicking the subscribe button below. Now, and we're also trying to change not only your life, but thousands and millions of others across the planet. How are you gonna help with that? If you give us a thumbs up and a comment below. Thank you.